Welcome to a follow-up video on the twisted double crochet. Now please note, this is not a video in which you will learn to do the stitch. In the um, description of this post, I've placed the link for you to the first video. So if you've never done a twisted double crochet before, I suggest you go to that video first and learn to do it and then come back to this one for a little bit of advanced. Okay. The first thing we need to do is review using the twister double crochet in rows. Before I carry on with this, this has been done in the round. There's a specific reason for that. Okay, if I've come to the end of the row, pretend this is a row and I'm going to turn and go back before I slip stitch here. If it's a row, you have to turn your work this way so that you have the yarn at the back and then you make the twister double crochet in the first stitch and you will have a nice edge okay that is fairly straight look what happens if we turn the wrong way if I turn this way my yarn is in the front Okay, what happens now, if I do the twister double crochet now, because of the yarn in front, it pushes out this little knot and you will have a jagged edge. So that doesn't work nicely. Let's go back. Do you see that little knot? Let's go back and do it the right way. Okay, I'm going to turn that way. So my yarn is at the back. And if I now make the twister double crochet, the knot is a lot smaller. If you do a couple of rows up, you will clearly see the difference. Here, it, it might probably look to you the same, but I promise you it's not. All right. Enough of the rows. So the problem that we have is that in the round, there's usually a line up that you can see. And we don't want that. Alright, so this is my twister double crochet from the start of the round. I'm going to slip into that twister double crochet. I'm just, um, there we go. There's my slip stitch. Alright. And now I am going to turn the other way. When you are working in the round, turn this way so that your yarn is in the front it makes a difference i promise you okay now what we're going to do let's first look at the anatomy of this this stitch there's the eye this one there's the eye but here where we've worked in the middle the eye is very small because there's a slip stitch there in the in the equation all right let's go back and turn this way all right if i look at it like this you will clearly see if i bring it real close this little stitch actually looks dilapidated can you see there's there's two holes that look if you could use them but you don't want to use that one you want to use this one this is the hole remember the hole, the eye of the stitch is slightly to the left of the post because we've turned. That one belongs to this one. So this hole that's a little bit closed up belongs to this one. And that one belongs to that one. Alrighty. So let me do the twister double crochet for you. It is more difficult because the yarn is in the front. Alright. I'm going to extend it out and twist it now I'm not I'm just gonna let it twist I'll catch it afterwards because I want to get in this side of the yarn I want my yarn here I want to catch it there so I'm gonna go in there and catch my yarn I don't want the yarn here when I go in I want to trap that yarn so I lift it up and go into the stitch it feels a little bit tight it's because of the slip stitch in there okay 
So if I complete the stitch now, you will see, because we've gone into the correct hole, the stitch stands where it would have stood if it was anywhere else in the round. So what you have in effect is something that looks as close as damn it to the real thing. You won't have that line that runs up. Yes, if you put it down flat and you really scrutinize it, you will see it because it is different. But it is as close as possible to the real thing to eliminate that unsightly line. Now, a, a chain three looks terrible. The normal twisted double crochet doesn't look too bad, but you get the best result working in the round when you turn after each row. If you don't understand why, in the description there's also a link to the leaning square that will give you um, a good indication of why we are turning it, it will show you why I turn after each row what is the significance of that now I hope this helps you just remember if you're turning in the round turn so that your yarn is in the front and make the twisted double crochet in the eye of the stitch where it would have been if it was a normal stitch don't get confused by this little bit here because it looks as if that stitch has got two eyes. Can you see? You're going to use the right one and ignore the slip stitch one. And this is what you will end up with. It doesn't look bad at all. I've done my um, pink penny four like that and you really can't see where I've started and ended off to each round. I hope this clears up some of the confusion and helps you to get a better end result.